Well, here we are early in the morning. Uh, we're out in Sturgis, South Dakota. This is Jim's Auto Salvage. They're gonna have an auction. They're gonna sell 250 cars. It's pretty windy, but we'll do the best we can here. Uh, we'll show you what they have and stuff, and maybe we can buy something, show you what we find. And we might do some uh, drone footage too if the wind dies down a little bit. So we'll, you know, watch the video and uh, hopefully you'll, you enjoy it. Okay, here's some drone footage we took. Uh, hope you enjoy it. This is the guy's salvage yard. A small portion of this will be in the auction, but he's got a huge salvage yard. This is the beginning of the sale here. Got a little noise from the food stand here, so bear with me. It's also extremely windy. Got quite a few different tailgates here. Chevy, Ford, GMC. There's a 61 Ford Thunderbird. That's a Dodge tailgate and a Jeep. There's a 61 Thunderbird here. Kind of do a walk around through here. Chevy there. There's another Thunderbird, a 64. Says most of these have a title. All but a couple of them, I guess. 64 Thunderbird. Here's a 76 Pinto. These are all coming up for auction here. We'll do some coverage during the auction as well. Here's a 58 Ford step side box. Like it's missing the tailgate. Pretty solid. Here's an international KB series international. Looks like a KB2. This one has what they call a Knox box. You can see on the tailgate there. I don't know if you can catch it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's stamped in there Knox K N O X. And you notice the inside of the bed is like a square material, you know, it looks like diamond plate, but they're little squares. It's a heavy duty box that they offered on these internationals. This one looks pretty solid, all the glasses out of it. Yep, KB2. These are good looking trucks. Get a good look at the front there. That one's pretty good shape. This fender over here is a little dented up, but otherwise pretty solid. It's an 82 Bronco, that's kind of rusty and beat. A 78 Bronco, that's pretty rusty too. This here's a 75 F250, four speed, Super cab. There's some rust in the bed, otherwise pretty solid. Here's a four-wheel drive Chevy here. Kind of beat up. Here's another four-wheel drive Chevy here. Or no, this one I guess is a GMC. Notice the difference in the two there. That one's a 72 GMC, also a foil drive. You can see the hub there. 
That one looks pretty solid, but quite a project. But pretty solid overall. This one's an 86 Dodge. It's a four-wheel drive power ram. There's about 250 vehicles here. There's varying ages, you know, from 30s up through the 80s, I guess, some of them. We'll step over to the next aisle here. Well, over here we got a 78 Nova. Looks like it's got some hail dents on the hood. Nova Custom. This is kind of an interesting car here. This is a 61 Skylark. It's a Buick mid-size car, smaller car. Not the big full size, kind of a nice looking car. Two door hard top. Looks like somebody did some body work on it. Maybe, I don't know. Look, primed it and the primer is burning off again, but it looks like a good solid body on that one. This one's a 61 Ranchero Falcon. Got some rust in the rear quarters. Here's what they call a tin woody. This one's a 51 Chevy. Looks like a woody here. You know, it's got the panels here, but this is not real wood. It's just painted, painted metal from the factory. That one looks pretty solid. Yeah, it's pretty solid. There's not much rust in that. Good straight top. Not a bad car. This one is a Olds Cutlass. Looks like it's got a pretty solid body. Getting in front of it here. It's a 71 Cutlass. This is a 49 Ford. Uh, that's a four-door sedan, says flathead engine, still turns. Get over on the other side here. Got some bigger vehicles here. That one's a 78 GMC motorhome. Got a 39 Pontiac Coupe here. Not too bad a shape, no engine, like a good street rod. They're trying to start that motorhome. That's Jim there, the guy that's having the auction, working with somebody. This is kind of cool. It's a 48 Chevy front, and the uh, bus body is all aluminum. It's built by Southern Aircraft Company in Texas. So the body's all aluminum, kind of built like an airplane. Looks like somebody had a motorhome in there. You can see it's got a bed and st a stove and a little refrigerator. Kind of cool. You can see the Chevy dash up in there. Bus bodies built all around it. That's an interesting vehicle. Look at the road flares on the cowl there. Got the stop lenses up top. They're amber on the front. Just a cool, cool old bus. I don't know that you see too many with aluminum bodies on it like that. This is a big one here. Big uh, Ford. This is an F800. It's a 56 semi. This is called a big job. This is a, a big series truck. Look at the hood scoop on the hood. It's got a 332 cubic inch V8 in there. That's really cool. 
full-blown Ford Semi there. Maybe a Freyhoff trailer, I'm not sure. It's got a big F on the front there. Here's a 69 Chevelle. Looks like a pretty good body on that one. On that side anyway. Manual transmission car says. Yeah, that one's got a good solid body. A little, little rust in the quarters, but those aren't easy to find. Chevelles of that age. Got a few on the other side of the aisle we didn't catch there. There's a Thunderbird and a Chevy car there. Got a Grand Torino. Here's another Ford with a super cab on it. That one's a foil drive. Got a Blazer and a Pontiac Grand Prix, another Blazer. There's a Ford pickup and an old mail Jeep and stuff up that aisle. We'll catch our next aisle around the corner here. This one here is a 61 Chevy bubble top. Kind of a rare car. Front fenders are pretty rusty. Bubble top. Two door hard top. That one's got rust in the quarters and stuff. But a rare car. This one here is a 71 Chevelle. It says engine turns. It's a three speed. That one looks pretty solid. A little rust in the quarters. It says it has good floors. Not too bad, you can see a little around the tires there and stuff. Then we've got a Trans Am. This one's a NASCAR Daytona 500 official pace car, it says on the door there. You can see that. Trans Am, it's a 79, 10th anniversary. It's a four speed with a 400 V8. NASCAR. That one looks pretty solid. There's a Ford Coupe here. It's had the top chop. Looked like a 39 Deluxe probably. It says, look at the seam. Yeah, they did a good job chopping that top. Can hardly tell it was done. Look in there. Needs an interior. What a good hot rod project or rat rod project. And we'll catch these. This one's a 47 Olds. Got a Fulton visor on it. They call these a sad face. Look at the front of that. Frowning all the time. That one's a four-door sedan. Here's a rare car. 38 Hudson. That one's a four-door. Look at the styling on the front of that. It's wild. Here we got a 59 Chevy 3100 panel truck. This guy's got this side's got quite a bit of denting on it. The poor panel truck, look at that. Tail light got bent right in. This side here is quite a bit better. A little rust on the bottom edges, but Kind of a cool truck. Some convertibles over there. We'll catch those on our next row. There's a white Jeep there and a 79 Firebird here. Boy, it's windy up here. Very windy. There's a 63 LeSabre, two-door hardtop. Got the nail head Buick engine. That's a cool car. 
Here's a 65 Chevy Bel Air four door. We got a 64 Galaxy 500. That one says engine turns. You got kind of a nice patina to that. It's a good looking car. Here we got a 64 Chrysler New Yorker. It says the engine turns. Good solid floors in it. It's another four door there. Here's a 63 Dodge Model 880. That one's a two door hardtop. Looks like that rear quarter is kind of messed up. Got a boat here, 68 Lone Star boat. There's a big Pontiac Le Mans station wagon. It says the engine turns. Boy, there's a big hole in that windshield. That's probably a derby car special or something. Here's a 65 Impala Super Sport. They got a lot of stuff written on the windshield here. Let's see. You got buckets, 327 four speed rally console car, missing the console. All kinds of stuff on the windshield there. Here's a 73 Plymouth Satellite. Good floors, no engine. Here's a Willys Jeep with a full cab on it there. Looks like it had a plow at one point. It's got a little, little half cab on it. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's still got the plow. Here it is on the ground behind it. Here's a 72 Suburban. Looks like a four-wheel drive Suburban there. No engine, missing one fender. Here's a 51 Buick, eight cylinder, it's a four door. And we'll catch a few on this side over here. You can see there's several rows yet, all up in the back there. We're gonna work our way back. Looks like they got a 39 Chevy two door sedan there. And here's an International Scout, a foil drive. Is that one. That's a Scout 2, I believe. Here's a 62 Fairlane. Four door. Engine turns. Here's a Buick Riviera. That one says engine turns as well. That one's pretty rough though. I mean the rusty quarters front's kind of messed up. Here's a 63 Impala. That's a four door, real solid body, but a four door. There's a 71 Plymouth Satellite. Not too many of those have survived. That might be another Derby Special though, I don't know. Especially with that dent in the rear door there. Got a big dent in the door. Here's a 67 Impala station wagon. It says it was a factory eight track player on there. That one looks pretty solid. Little, little rust in the quarter, but pretty good car. Let's see if we can see the eight track in there. Oh, well, maybe not. Door doesn't open. Try the other side. These old 8-track players are kind of cool if you can check them out here. Yep, this side opens. 
Oh yeah, you can see it there. Big eight track flare. This is a 79 Regal Buick. Here's a Dodge Wayfarer. Dodge is a two door sedan. Here's his 51 Chevy. This one is kind of a cool car because this is a fastback two door. Still got the Mohawks on the rear fenders there. Those are pretty valuable. These are real popular. Notice the trailer hitch. Don't catch your shin on there. Ouch. Driver's door is messed up. Rusty on the bottom, but otherwise pretty solid. Here's another fastback GM car here. This is a Pontiac. Notice the silver streak right up it. These make nice low riders, custom cars. Really popular out in California, Arizona area. Got the Chief on there, notice. Somebody grabbed the hood ornament, looks like. Here's a 66 Caprice Chevy. All kinds of stuff on the windshield there. Bench, bench bucket seat, electric windows, remote mirror, have extra roof. Double hump heads, 327. Yeah, this has the, you know, had a fabric top and they get rusty. Holds the water in behind there. The body itself is pretty solid, but that top is all gone bad and I don't know that that's worth putting another top on. Apparently they think it is here, I guess. Here's a 79 AMC Spirit. That one looks really solid. Looks mostly complete. The plastic grill has some damage. Here's a 64 Bel Air four door. And a 77 Firebird. Skybird. Engine turns, it says. There's a 66 Mercury Comet Caliente. This is kind of a mid-sized car, two-door hardtop. Good looking cars. No engine. Here's a 66 Fairlane two-door hardtop. These are real projects, you know, missing engines and and stuff. Most of them aren't very rusty because this is out in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Uh, you know, they don't get a lot of rust here, but there's a 59 Invicta two-door hardtop, but boy, that took a took a severe hit on the quarter panel there. I don't know if you can see it the way the sun's shining. There you go. Check that out. That got slammed on that quarter. Look at the air conditioning unit under there. That's kind of cool. This would have been a, a real fancy car back in this day. Here's a 70 Newport convertible. That, this side of that Buick is pretty good, but the other side is munched. Here's a 67 Buick Grand Sport convertible. 64 Buick Special. That's a convertible. Here's another convertible, a 60 Ford Starliner. That one, they got another quarter panel there. Looks like they cut off one quarter and just laid the other one up there, ready to go for you. Don't that look easy? You got quite a collection of convertibles here. You can see all of them through there. Here's a 68 Torino. It's a fastback. Says the engine turns on that. 
And here's a 55 Ford T-Bird with a 56 top, it says. See the porthole on the top? Good looking cars. These early T-Birds are really nice looking. Well, here's a Bonneville Pontiac. It's a big full-size convertible there. It says clean, let's see. Clean as far as rust, I guess. The floor is a solid, but that's had the top off it for a long time. Another convertible here, 63 Galaxy 500. There's another one, a 63 Galaxy 500. There's an Olds convertible, 1968. That's got one of those paint jobs that changes colors where the sun hits it. And here's a 62 Corvair Monza convertible. I don't think that has an engine in it. I can see down through the hood there. Get over on this side. Here's an El Camino. Missing the front clip here. Bucket seat car, it says. Power steering. That's a 65 El Camino. Here's a 62 Olds Cutlass. A little two-door hardtop. Here's a 70 Skylark. Drove in here, it says. It must have been a while ago. Those tires have been flat for a long time. Here's a Coronet. 1968 Coronet 500. Look at the hood scoop somebody put on there. These muscle cars are fun, but a lot of times they're owned by high school kids or younger guys that modified them and you know used them used them hard put them away wet and that, that creates havoc when you're trying to restore something if it's if it's been heavily beat or modified here's another Ford Galaxy 64 what it says anyway. It says 64 Galaxy hardtop. That does not look like a 64 to me. I don't know. I'm not big on these Fords, but I don't think that's a 64. Here's a 72 Cutlass. Oldsmobile. That looks fairly solid there. Good body on it. Got a rat rod project here. This one's a 28 Essex. These Essex bodies are kind of cool because they have suicide doors. Notice the door hinge, it's got a piano hinge on the back of the door. That's somebody's rat rod dream there. Do a little piston up on there. Boy, it is windy. Just about blow you over. It's probably wiggling the camera around for me. But we're doing the best we can here. Here's a 78 Aspen. 76 Skylark Buick. 59 El Camino. This is a rare car. Got the inline six there. The head's off of it. Missing the hood. You can see a stump there where... A tree was going through it at one time over in that fender. The key to these is having all the trim on the back. 
also not being rusty down in between the seat here I don't know what that looks like get a look down in there yeah not too bad pretty solid but it's missing all the important trim across the back and the rear window and everything that's a big drawback to one of those cost you an arm and a leg to find all that stuff it's fairly solid there's a little bit of rust on the bottom edges but fairly solid Here's a 72 Le Mans. Now this is an unusual car. It's got the uh, Endura front clip. Notice the, the front end of that. It looks a lot more like a GTO than it does a Le Mans. Now Pontiac, you could, on the Le Mans, you could get everything from a little six cylinder all the way up to a car that's basically a GTO with options. You know, this one's got a 350, but you could get the, I think you could get the 455 in there maybe. But you could get the biggest engines they had and get this front clip and stuff. And it would basically be one step away from a GTO if you optioned it right. There's a 61 Meteor. Mercury. And Mercury is a two door sedan. Looks really solid. Here's a 66 Coronet Dodge. Four door. Got a little 69 Mustang here. Looks like a pretty solid body on the Mustang. 77 Chrysler. Town and country wagon there. Check out this Mustang a little bit. A little rust on the bottom of the fender. Good quarters it looks like. There's a bunch of the parts off of it in the back. Yeah, that does have nice floors, look at them. It's all cleaned out. It's just, you know, it's kind of all stripped apart, but it's a good solid start for somebody. This is why we come to South Dakota, is to find things that are not as rusty as they are in other areas of the country. Especially the East Coast. Here's that 77 Chrysler. It's a big station wagon. Here's this 63 Impala two door hardtop. That one looks pretty solid. There's another 59 El Camino. Let's check out this Impala. This one's a 63. Can't see in it too good, but it's got a lot of trim and stuff laying in there. Check out the back end of it here. It's got a little rust in the back, but not too bad. Pretty solid car, good rockers. Now this is the other 59 El Camino. Also missing all the bed trim. Kind of rusty on the bottom edges. Rusty in the floor there. You can see in there, not horrible but it needs these lower pans so that would be a major project for somebody here's a mercury this is one of the ones I came to look at it's a two door got a Fulton visor boy that visor's caught some serious hail dents that thing looks like Ripley's believe it or not there the body on this is pretty solid. These are really popular for making hot rods and custom cars. See the floors there, are pretty good. Dash, isn't it? All those hail dents on that visor, but I don't see too many on the steel parts. Those visors are made out of aluminum, so they dent a lot easier than the steel. Got a few bullet holes there, you can see those on the side. Pretty solid body though. Don't know if it has an engine or not. Missing some headlight parts. We'll catch you on the next row here. Well, we'll catch this aisle. 
Boy, that wind is really rocking me. I don't know what the, what the wind speed is, but it's really moving around. I just wanted to show you guys this bus here. You know, we're in the motorcycle capital here, Sturgis, South Dakota, and there's the bus rally sh shuttle right there. A little short bus. Here's a 55 Olds. Two-door sedan there. The hood is kinked, but looks like a pretty good body on that one. The 74 Scamp. That looks pretty good. A little rust bubbling on the quarters, but pretty good car. A little rust in that front fender right there. Pretty straight, though. Here's an early chassis here. Let's see what this one is. Number 149. Studebaker. Got the emblem right there. Got a Studebaker on there and a S on the hubcap. However, the cowl here says Essex, which is a Hudson. So I guess that's a mix match of parts there. Here's a Volkswagen Beetle somebody took the fenders off of. There's a 77 LTD. Jump over to the next side here. Still got a couple rows up in there to do. This is a 72 Olds 442. That looks pretty solid and mostly complete. It says the floors are really good, engine turns. That's a worthwhile car there. Being the 442. Here's the 72 Malibu. Missing the rear axle, but looks pretty solid. No engine, no rear axle. Just a body shell, but it's a good solid body shell. A little rust on those rear quarters that they trimmed off, but... There's a Jeep Wagoneer here. The 58 Chevy Brookwood station wagon, four-door wagon. Got some rust in the quarters, but not too horrible. There's a 63 Biscayne, four-door. Three on the tree, it says. Got the old South Dakota license plate. Pretty solid. There's a 77 Matador, AMC. It's a 360 with 81,000 miles, it says. Good solid body, but it's a four-door AMC. Matador. There's a 51 Ford Victoria. Catch back on here with the 51 Victoria. That one looks pretty solid. It's a two-door hardtop. Here's a 69 Cutlass. That one's seen better days. Missing a lot of parts. Fairly solid, but needs a lot of elbow grease. Here's a 67 Malibu Chevy. Those are real popular. Build them up. Here's a 74 Bug here. Another Beetle. Missing the front fender on this side. Here's a 62 Bel Air. It's a four door. It's got the front and rear bumperettes. Got the accessory grill guard thing there. Pretty solid body. Here's something you don't see every day, a 75 Opal. Station wagon. Really solid actually. This is 63 Impala, two-door hardtop. Somebody put a wider rear wheel on there. 
Be a little rust around the rear tires there, but let's see if I can get down there to see it. You can see that. Some rust in the floors, but not bad. Pretty solid. Real popular year. Here's another 74 Beetle. Bright yellow. That one's got all the fenders. Got some hail dance on the roof. Here's a 71 Mustang. It's got a 351 Cleveland in it. Pretty solid body on that one. Here's a 70 Le Mans. Mostly rust free. It does look like a good body. It's got no engine, no hood. But really solid. Nice body on that one. It's an 84 Firebird. There's a 62 Impala, four door. It's got a 327 V8 in it, it says. Pretty solid body on that one. Here's a 65 El Camino. No engine, kind of dented in the front. There's a 60 Ford pickup with a step side bed on it. Looks like a two wheel drive. No engine, it says. Somebody cut the rust off the bottom of the front fender. Here's a 64 Impala 327. That one looks like a good body on that one. Yeah, that one's got a nice, nice body on it. Got a couple dune buggy deals here. Here's a Diamond T truck. 1948 Diamond T. Looks like somebody painted it red there at one point and it turned to pink out in the sun. Pretty nice truck, really. Solid. Here's another Chevy here. That one's a two-door sedan. Don't look too bad. It's a 67 Le Mans. Missing the front. I think some people out here must not have been very good drivers. A lot of them got the fronts either missing or banged up. Here's a 56 Chevy. Two door. I'm calling that a sedan delivery, but it sure looks like a wagon to me. I don't know. Here's another Essex Coupe. Here again, got the suicide doors. You got the handle up on the front, doors open backwards. Here's your hinge. Somebody was putting some Bondo in there. Should have just left it alone. It's got the trunk lid still. They're calling it a 1928. Maybe right, I don't know. Not too bad. They should have just left their Bondo at home. There's a good solid body on this four-door 55 Chevy. No hood or engine. There's a 58 with rusty headlight eyebrows. Complete engine, stuck. 348, power steering, power brakes, push button radio says on there. It's a four-door. There's a cool little three-wheel golf cart, electric one. Let's see what brand that is. Lair Electric, made in Oakland or Tennessee, Oakland, California, or Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, it says. Another El Camino, 65. Boy, somebody did a, a job on the roof of this one. Look at that. They cut the top and then they put some aluminum and then the hail just smashed that aluminum all up. Here's a good little Ford short box bed here. 59 square box. 
Good solid bed, missing the tailgate. There's a 66 Cadillac, big boat, convertible. Another 66 Cadillac here. This one got a punch in the eye at one point. Bent that fender around. There's an 85 Camaro. 67 LeSabre four-door, looks like a good body on it. There's a 60 Ford station wagon, country sedan. It's a four-door station wagon. You don't see very many of these. We did have one in one of our videos. If you go back, uh, we did a video in our hometown. And uh, in the thumbnail, it has a 55 or 6 Ford stock car, race car deal. But anyway, in that, I think there was a 60 Ford station wagon in there as well. You gotta love the view out here. We'll get over to this aisle in a minute. But I just want to show you the view. See back there? That's Bear Butte over there. A real uh, sight to see out here near Sturgis. There's an 89. Well, what they're calling an 89 Chevy. I thought they stopped these in 87, but... It's a square body any which way. C10 two-wheel drive. Here's a Z28, 81 Camaro. 66 Olds, 442, seen better days. Missing a bunch of parts. What's there looks pretty solid though, you know. It's, you can get a good view down here. Pretty solid body, just missing a lot of parts. Too bad they, maybe they wrecked it years ago, took that fender off, I don't know. Here's an 80 Camaro with T-tops on it. Looks like something you'd see in a Joe Dirt movie. Here's a 78 Firebird. Looks pretty solid and straight. Not a bad body on that one. 74 Firebird formula. Notice the hood scoops. Here's a Maverick, 70 Maverick. This one's a 68, 68 Coronet here. Very nice. Trunk, trunk has some rust it says, but nice floors in the rest of the body. Bucket seats, console car. A Little bit of denting, but not a bad body on it. Well, we got a 71 Chevelle here. We got a little glitch here, so we're catching back on. These are hot property. A little rust is starting around the rear tires. Looks like a good solid body though. There'll be all kinds of guys after that. Left the key in the trunk there. See a little rust around the tire there, but that's a, a good body on that. Floors look good. That'll be hot property here. Then we got a 65 442 here. Front bump, bumper's kind of kinked. Engine parts in the trunk, it says. Has bucket seats in it. A little rust in the quarter there. Not a bad car, though. Sixty-six Alls Cutlass. Got the engine sitting on a pallet here. That's also a four-four-two model. You can see the difference in the two years there. This one's a two-door post. guy there describing it to somebody on the phone. Pretty solid body. Don't latch this door. 
Here's a Malibu. It says it was a four-speed car. Chevy Malibu, it's a 72. Make somebody a good rod or a muscle car. It's missing the rear axle, but a pretty good body on it, really. There's a 66 Fury, two-door Plymouth. They have a current day junkyard too. You can see the stuff over in there, some of the modern stuff they have. They're just selling off some excess inventory here, 250 vehicles. Here's a 38 Dodge four-door. That's a good parts car there, if nothing else. Got a real nice grill on it. Headlight buckets and stuff. Here's a 40 Ford three-quarter ton pickup. Here's a Model A, 29. Check that out. Here's, this is kind of more up our alley here, these older ones. One says it has a good body. It does have a little rust bubbling on the bottom edges there, and I don't know what happened there. Somebody heated that up and tried to bend that back out with a torch, probably. But it is a pretty good body. Somebody also used a disc sander on it years ago and put primer on it. Now it's cooking off again, but it has a good patina to it now. A little rust on the bottom edges there, see it? So it's good, but not great. We kind of get spoiled with stuff like that out here because in the East Coast that would be rusted about a foot up it. There'd be no subframe left. And here I am pointing out little small amounts of rust. It's a 58 Chevy two-door right there. Two-door post. Oh, sorry, I said 58. I didn't mean that. 55. Before everybody jumps all over me. I know it's a 55. Sometimes I say the wrong year even though I'm thinking the right year. Here's another 55 two-door post. This one looks a little better, although it does have some Bondo and the quarters and stuff. A little more complete anyway, put it that way. Somebody torched out a piece on that quarter. Well, we'll see what's on this side. You got a 67 Chevelle. Right there, Malibu. Sixty-seven El Camino. They got a lot of El Caminos here. There's a seventy-two Nova. That looks like a pretty good body on that one. Missing the engine and stuff here, but oh no, false alarm. I thought it was okay, but look at the that quarter. That needs that quarter replaced. That's for sure. Well, we're getting on the last couple aisles here. This is an 82 Ford Econoline, 71 Suburban here. 72 Mustang convertible, all stripped apart. This is a 66 El Camino. I don't think I've seen so many El Caminos in one spot for a long time. This is a 78 Formula Firebird. Boy, we're getting on the top of the hill, really windy up here. Bear with me, I'm gonna be shaking around and probably catching some wind noise. 73 Camaro. 83 Firebird. This is a 60 Chevy station wagon, two door wagon. This is another one of the ones I wanted to look at. It's a 57 Chevy pickup. Looks like a good solid body, but it's on a different chassis. It's got a 76 chassis on it. So it's got a good body but on a different different frame. There's a short box to go with it if you want to put a short box on it. Here's the Pennington County 83 Dodge here. Pennington County on there. Dual wheel D350. Another Ford pickup here, 79 F-150. Here's a short box Chevy here, 67. It's 
says it has a little rust, but not too horrible. Somebody mixed up the body parts, different colors and stuff, but pretty hard to find a short box in those years anymore. There's a Bronco, 88 Bronco. Here's another Chevy truck here. Another heavy half right here, square body, GMC. Here's another Dodge, four-wheel drive, power ram. It's 1985. Looks like it might have a 318 or a 360. Here's a GMC here. Gotta love the fronts on these GMCs, they're cool looking. It's got a six-cylinder. Pretty solid cab, and what's unusual here, it's got the wide window. So it's a pretty good cab. Still early in the morning yet. You got a few people walking around, checking them out. I don't know how big a crowd they'll get here. Hard to say. Here's a little square body short box here. Two wheel drive. 76 it says here, no engine. Pretty good body on it. Here's a Dodge cab over. It's got some international truck headlights on there, that's kind of weird. Missing the hood emblem. They've also put this on a 78 Dodge frame. So you know, it's got limited interest because it's been modified and stuff. You'd rather just find them original. Well, there's one good plus right there. There's the emblem inside it. Got a good header panel. This cab must have been laying on that driver's or passenger side at one point because it's got rust up in the top. I'll check it out here. See what the side of this cab looks like. Well, they've primed it over the years, but you can see a lot of pitting and rust up in here. And that means that that cab was laying on that corner at one point. But still kind of a cool project for somebody. Here's a Ford. This one is a 36 Ford farm truck here. Got a pretty good grill on it. it says it runs. According to what they have written on there, 11,000 miles. I don't know if I'd believe that or not, but. A little pucker on the door there. That door is stuck. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Whip around this way here. See if this door is unlocked. Oh boy, those doors are tight. You could probably get them open, but. I don't want to mess with it too hard, unless I buy it. A little rust on the bottom of the cab. Pretty good though. Another Dodge Power Ram. 85, four wheel drive. This one says it's got a 360 engine, says it runs. Pretty solid, a lot of dents. It's got a Dana 60 front. We got a five window Chevy here, farm truck. It says 60,000 miles. You can see the old green underneath. Somebody painted it red over it at some point. It's a five window cab, nice solid cab, but it's a farm truck, so most likely this might just turn into a, a cab guy wanting to build a pickup and have an engine. But this one came out of Bowman, North Dakota. We get some stuff from up that way at times. You get kind of an overlook here of where we've been looking. Here's a Chevy, like a 60, let's see, that looks like a 61 or so grill. But then the hood looks like a later hood. Yeah, 
here's a Ford here. This is a bigger truck, farm truck. I don't know if that's an F5 or 600 probably. I can't read the emblem there. It's a 63. This one has a Pontiac engine in it. It's got the big engine. It's a 55 GMC, snub nose. Notice the, to work on the engine, you can swing this out. It's got two hinges right here and a latch. You can swing this around and uh, work on the engine right through the side there. It's kind of cool. And we get out from behind that truck, really get in the wind again. Well, uh, this is our last aisle here. We'll check out over here. Walk by the view you can get here. I'll zoom in there for you. Look at that. That's Bear Butte right there. Sturgis is over the hillside here. The town of Sturgis. We're kind of on the outskirts. Probably, uh, I don't know, three or four miles out of town probably. There's a washing machine there. This is a cool fuel tanker. Look at the, the covers on the top with the wing on them. Those are neat. Four compartments. It says Conoco on it. There's a Dodge Coronet. 52. There's a 59 Biscayne. Two door post. It's got a 283 in it. Fairly good body. Somebody caught it there with a forklift in the quarter and got a little rust, but fairly good body missing the rear axle. They like pulling the rear axles around here, I guess. Here's a 58 with a 283. That's a two door post. Here's a 55 Ford Fairlane. That one's a two door post as well. Monte Carlo, 1970. Here's a kind of an unusual car. They say rare on the windshield. I don't know if I'd call it rare, but you don't see too many. It's a four-door hardtop, 57 Chevy. See, it's a hard four-door hardtop. Here's a Rio, I guess, Silver Cloud, 1933. They're calling it. This is a 65 Impala, bucket seat, automatic transmission, AC, 12 bolt, was a tack car. Look at that padded dash, got rusted out under the padding. I don't know, I don't have much left of it there. You got a big shotgun blast in that fender. Here's a Buick Grand Sport GS. It's a 68. It's a four speed car, it was a four speed car. I don't know if it means it currently has a four speed or not. Nope. Looks like there's no shifter handle. You know, a lot of these are junkyard queens, so they've had parts taken off them over the years. 74 Camaro. 79 Trans Am. Here's a 66 Caliente. Catching some severe wind up here. 73 Dart. That looks pretty solid. Two door. Here's an 80 Camaro Rally Sport. Look at the fiberglass front there. You got a hit on the front. 79 Malibu Station Wagon. That's kind of cool. Three speed on the floor. V6. Rare, it says. I don't know how many Malibus are rare, but there it is. It's a 77 Ford there, four-wheel drive. 64 Belvedere. Poly V8. Look at the floor. It says good floor, but it's a four-door car. There's a 77 Camaro. 71 Firebird Esprit. Here's a Monza station wagon. Don't see very many of those. A little rust in the front fender, but otherwise looks pretty solid. 
is a 78 Ford. This is a crew cab. Looks like a pretty solid cab. And we got a 55 Studebaker and another 82 Camaro on the tail end there. We'll show you this crew cab because this is a good solid cab. Got a little something going on right there. Some denting on the back. I don't know what happened. The body hit it or something, but it's got this on both sides. And some denting in the back there. Well, anyway, that was the, the tour here. You know, we'll try to throw a little drone footage in here and there. Because there is good scenery around here. Show you a little of the auction action here. It's a 79 10 10th anniversary car. 10th anniversary car. Starling. Sorry. We bet right here on the Trans Am. All the way down right here. What do we say here? I have on the internet, I have 3,000. We get 32. That 3,200. 31. And now 2. That 3,200. We get 2. 2. 2. 31 is bid. We get 3,200. 31. And now 2. 3,200. We get 2. Now 3. That 3,300. We get 3,300. 3300 now four thousand four thousand dollar Four to the end of the four. The fourth now four here now for the four to the Trans Am here now four now five. The four to the end of four to the bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of four to bond. The four to the end of 4300, 4200 is bid. What do you get? 4300, 42 get 300. A 42 on a 3, 3, 3 to bid. Dirk, what do you think? A 43 to bid. 43, got it. Now 4. A 44 to bid here in a 4. 4400. There's a pretty sweet little car, guys. Buy them when you can find them. 43, 4400. Again, you want to make some money, jump right in on this deal. 43, 4400. Forty-four hundred dollars. Forty-three get four. Forty-four hundred dollars. 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 Forty-four hundred d
That's the one they're selling over there, that Trans Am. Carter, we got nothing but time today. 56 and now 7. 57 to be it. 57 to be it. Time means money. 57 to be it. 56 and now 7. 7 to be it. 5700. We're going to sell the car. 57 to be it. Here in a 7. Now 8. 5800. 5800 dollars. 58 to be it. Now 9. 5900. Now 6000. Now 61. Take it in a 61. 61 to be it. 6100. 60 million. It's a good amount. 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 61. 61 to be it. Internet buyers hit the button. You want to come on. 61 to be it. 6100. 6100. Last call. Internet. 1, 2. 62. 62 to be it. 6200. 62 to be it. I can't believe with all these good car guys here on the ground, all the buyers have been online. 2, 3. 6300. 62 to be it. There's been five of them battling hard. 62, 3. 6300. 6300 other. Three to be in three, three, three to be in three, number four. That's 64 to be in here in the phone, four to be in. 6400, now five. 65 to be in. In time, we're anywhere from Piedmont to Box Elder to Brookings. 64, get five. 65 to be in the market, 65 to be in the market, now five. 6500, 6500, anybody else? What again, 65 to be in the market, now five, 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 6600 6600 6600 65 hey Todd did the food wagon bring along some supper supplies 6600 6600 and now seven 6700 60 we might want hot hamburgers here towards evening 6700 66 and now seven seven to be it that's seven to be it that was always the favorite in the fall of the year shipping cattle have yourself a little hot hamburger and a hot beef sandwich sixty seven hundred dollars we got guys out there shipping calves today and buying cars and now sixty eight hundred ethan sixty seven eight sixty eight hundred sixty eight to be it sixty eight hundred that's sixty seven and now eight hot eight to be it. anybody else now nine 6900. I don't know when I'm going to be able to say sold. 68 now 9. Have 9 living here now 9. 9 living you holding up, Angela. 69 now 7. That's 7 living. Was that a bid, ma'am? 7,000. That's 7 living in the 71. That's 7 living in the 71. Everybody come on here now. I'm on 71. Now 2. That's 72 living. Ethan's getting them geared up now. 71 2. That's 72 living. Ethan's going to put them in the high gear. That's 71 and now 2. 72 living. 71 and now 2. Internet's in and internet's out. Two, three, and three, now four. That's seventy four to be in the market four, now four, now five. And now six hundred, seventy six to be in. That's seventy six hundred, the faster you bid, the faster I'll go. Six, seven, now eight. That's seventy seven, eight hundred, to better give eight to be in. Eight, now nine. That's seventy nine, now eight, to better give eight thousand. Eight thousand dollars. Eight to be in the market eight here, now eight, 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 eight. Seventy nine hundred, to better give eight thousand. Eight thousand dollars. Eight to be in the market eight. At eight thousand dollars, now eight, 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 eight thousand. 7900 eight, uh, eight now here now those of you online that haven't been out here, the Buffalo chips right across the road, that's where you can park it. 3,000, 35.000 
Bird it in. 4,000. I'm out two and a half. 4,000. About two and a half. Bring it to you. Got 4,000. Need two and a half. 42 <laughs> 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 Okay, well, uh, we made it back with these two. These are the two we bought, and we're gonna tell you a little about them. This one is a 1939 Pontiac Coupe. Uh, this is a great looking car. Check the headlights out. They have a mohawk on the headlights, on the taillights. These are some of the reasons we picked particular ones. This will make a great street rod. Notice the uh, Indian Chief on the top for the hood ornament. Uh, just a great GM coupe. This is one of the first all steel ones. 37 would be the first all steel. Uh, you get back to 36, they start getting full of wood. So this is a good car. It's really solid. You know, a little rust in the door. Nice straight running boards. It's even got the Mohawk on the taillights. Got a nice trunk lid. So that's just a good car. Make a good gasser, a street rod. So that's the deal with that one. This is the other one we got at the sale. Uh, they rode on the windshield 1951 Mercury, but it's not. It's a 1950. And this is one of my favorite cars. These are great looking. This one's a two-door coupe. Very hard to come by anymore. Uh, this car would make a great custom or a hot rod. And you can see how solid it is. Just look down around the bottom edges here. Look down the side of that, that's really solid. Uh, both sides real good. Floors are all real good. So this was kind of a, a great find for us. And I thought one of the better cars at the sale, I was hoping we could get it and we did. Needs a little bit of the trim. You can look in the trunk here, all solid on the floor. Just a great looking car. Got a few bullet holes on there. Got a few bullet holes right here. But both of these are real solid cars. Not easy to find these anymore. And so we were happy to get them. So that was a successful auction for us. Uh, they're gonna have some more sales there, I guess. It's called Jim's Auto Salvage, Sturgis, South Dakota. And you know, if you like these kind of videos, like old cars, like old rusty junk, uh, subscribe to our channel. Give us thumbs up, give us comments, because all these things help our channel and will help us get more uh, videos that we can do, get you guys more involved, and all that stuff helps. So please go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you.